Vision Forwards in Focus team presents. Hello, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward, and welcome to another In Focus Deep Dive. In this deep dive video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 Narrator and the Windows 10 Mail app. And Narrator, for those of you who don't know, is built into Windows 10 and it's what they call a screen reader. So it's able to read everything on the screen aloud to you. And so a person who is blind or visually impaired is able to use their computer using Narrator. And it's built into Windows 10 and it works very well. We're going to be specifically looking at how it interacts with the Windows 10 Mail app. And the Mail app is an email client, which means that you're able to connect it to your email account and then you will be able to read your emails within the Windows 10 Mail app. So for example, if you have a Google email account, you can connect it to the Windows 10 Mail app and read and send emails from the Windows 10 Mail app. And it works very well. Now we're not going to be looking at how to connect to those accounts in this video. We're just going to be looking at how to use the Windows 10 Mail app with Windows 10 Narrator. And because both of those things are built into your computer, it's a great way to start using your computer because you don't have to buy any additional software. So first of all, let's take a look at how to turn on our Windows 10 narrator. All we have to do is hold down Control and the Windows key and press Enter and narrator should turn on. So let's give that a try now. Start desktop list, WinCam, selected, on. Good. We turned on narrator, we heard our computer started speaking to us, and it told us it was focused on the desktop of the computer, and it was focused on an icon called WinCam on the desktop. So, we know that we have turned on narrator. Now we need to get into the Windows 10 Mail app. Easiest way to do this, this is to press our Windows key, that will bring up our search bar and our start menu. After hitting the Windows key, we can just go ahead and type out Mail, and it will then uh, bring up the Mail app, and we can just press Enter to open it. Let's try that now, I'm going to press the Windows key. Start window, Cortana, search box, edit. Good, we heard that uh, we're in the search box, I'm going to type out Mail here. M A I, mail, mail, app, press right to switch preview, one of four, selected. Good, so I heard that it found the mail app, and now, now I'm just going to press enter and it should open up our mail app for us. Mail window. Message list, Luke Scriven final test Friday December 6th, here is one more test email. I don't... Okay, and I, I just stopped the voicing. Now, when a narrator is talking to you, if you want to pause the voice, you can just press Control at any time, and it will pause the current voicing. And so narrator is still on, but I just stopped it from speaking what it was speaking at that particular time. When we open the Mail app, we are inside our inbox, and the inbox is where uh, we can view emails which we have received. The inbox is displayed as a vertical list, and to move up and down through the inbox, I can use my up and down arrow keys. Now, emails will be by default listed in the order received with the newest emails on the top. I'm going to go ahead and hit my down arrow and he hear what other emails I've got here. Luke Scriven here is another test. Friday, December 6th, I hope this email is being read aloud by narrator. So there's another one, um, and we heard that it said who sent it, the date that it was sent, the subject, and it started reading some of the email aloud as well. Let's press the down arrow and see if we have any more. Luke Scriven, hello. Friday, December 6th, this is a test email to show how you... And there was another email from myself to myself. Um, so it's very easy to move through our emails with the up and down arrow keys. And we will also be able to hear um, some basic um, text from that email to let us know what it's about and who it's from. However, if we want to read the entire email, we do have to go ahead and open up the email. And to do that, once we've found the email we want to read, all we have to do is press enter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Reading pain message. We heard it say reading pane message. So what's happened is it's opened up the email in another pane here. And in order to get it to read to us, we have a few different options. Now, by default, there is something called scan mode in Narrator, and that's turned off by default. 
we can turn it on by holding caps lock and pressing the space bar and it will give us some more text navigation options but by default that is off which means that if we want to read something we have to use caps lock and down arrow and it will read from the top of the document to the end so we're at the start of our email here I'm going to hold caps lock and press a down arrow and it should read the entirety of our email to us this is a test email to show how using the Windows 10 Mail app with Narrator works. Hopefully this demo is going well. Sent from link, mail for Windows 10. Good, and it read the entire email aloud to us. Now let's try doing the same thing with scan mode. I'm going to go back up to the top of this email. This is a And now I'm going to turn on scan mode by holding down caps lock and pressing the space bar. Scan. We heard it say scan, so we know that scan mode is on. This now enables us to navigate through this document with our arrow keys. And there's a few different ways that we can do this. First of all, we can use our right and left arrow keys to move through the, uh, the email letter by letter. So let's try doing that. I'm going to use my right arrow key. We're currently on the word this. No previous character. H. I. S. So there's H. I. S. From this. There should be a space now. Space. And now there's the word is. I. S. And now another space. Space. Now the word A. A. And a space. Space. Now the word test. T. E. S. T. And so we can hear how I'm moving through the letters one by one. This is very useful if you want to um, get some details from an email. For example, there may be a phone number in there or, you know, just uh, a piece of information that we need to listen to very carefully. And so we can do that by moving through uh, letter by letter. We can also move word by word, and to do that we can hold down control and then again use the right and left arrow keys, and this will move us word by word through the document. So I'm going to hold control, now I'm going to use my right arrow. Email to show how using. And each time I press the right arrow it's moving through uh, by another word. So again a very nice way of navigating that really lets us kind of focus in on the content of the email there. We can also move line by line through the email. Let me go ahead and move back to the start of this email again. Blank. So to read the first line, we uh, to read line by line, we would use the arrow keys up and down. To read the first line, we have to press up because if we press down, it will take us down to the second line. So we're at the start of the first line. Let's press our up arrow. No previous item. It will tell us there's no previous item. Now we press our down arrow. This is a test email to show how using the Windows 10 Mail app with Narrator works. Hopefully this demo is going well. And it's reached the end of that line. And now we're going to use the down arrow again. Sent from link mail for Windows 10. And then it read the other line to us. And so that's another way that we can navigate if we want a bit more control. Now we can still use our caps lock and down arrow if we want to have this whole email read aloud to us, even when we're in scan mode. But scan mode does also give us these other navigation options using the arrow keys, and those can be very useful. Some other things which can be useful when we're navigating our emails are the ability to move the cursor position to the start of the email and the end of the email or the start of the line and the end of the line that we're currently on. And these can be done with the home and the end keys. So if we are at the uh, if we want to move to the end of the email, we can hold control and press end blank and it's moved us to the end of the email, which in this case is just a blank line. If we want to move to the start of the email, we can hold down control and press the home key. Blank. And it will move us to the start of the email, which is in this case the blank space before the letter T of this. If we want to move to the end of a line, we can just press the end key on its own without the control key. Cap T, cap T, end of line. And now we're at the end of this line. And if we press the home key without control, that would take us to the start of the line that we're currently on. Space, this. Good. The other thing that we can do is move through elements in an email by pressing the tab key. Now, for example, we may have an email which con which contains a number of links and we may want to quickly find a link in the email. We could use our arrow keys to slowly move line by line until we find the link. But if we just press our tab key, it will move us between any links in an email um, you know, very quickly. So we only have one link in this email, which is uh, the word mail in this email is a link. I'm going to go ahead and press the 
the tab key and see if we can find that. Link mail. And it took us right there. It said link mail. So now we are on that link. If there were more links on this email, then uh, we could find those in the same way. One final thing which can be very useful is oftentimes we will receive attachments in an email. And the easiest way to find an attachment is to use our tab key. And so we're going to use it in conjunction with shift though. Um, so we would open our email, we would press enter to open it, it would start to read it to us. We want to hit control to stop the, you know, pause the current voice as quickly as we can. And then if we press shift tab, it should take us right up to where any attachments are. Using the right and left arrows, we can listen to the, uh, the attachments if there's more than one. And to open an attachment, we can simply press enter. So that's how we can read emails. Now let, let's have a look at how to send an email. I'm going to go ahead and escape out of the email which I'd opened and that will take me back to the inbox. Message list. Luke Scriven, hello. So now I'm back into my inbox and I'm going to find an email that I want to reply to. Let me go ahead and locate an email I want to reply to with my up and down arrow keys. Luke Scriven, Luke Scriven final test Friday, December 6th. Here is one. Okay, I want to reply to this email. Now, um, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but I'm going to tell you the way that I think is easiest. First, I'm going to open the email. Reading pain. Message. I heard that the reading pane was open and I was in the message body. Now, I'm not going to read this email. I'm going to reply to it because I already know what it says. To reply, we can hold control and press R for reply. Let me do that now. R. Message list. Draft Luke Scriven final test two messages in conversation Friday, December 6th. Here is one more test email. Okay, now it was reading the email that I was replying to. I just paused it there because I already know what it says. We already have in this reply who the email is going to because we're replying to an email somebody has sent us. And we already have a subject filled out because it's taken the subject of the email that was sent to us, which we're replying to. So all we have to do is type our reply. We're already in the, um, the body of the email. So I can just go ahead and type out my reply. I'm going to type out thank you. T-H-A-N-K space thank Y-O-U space U for your email. F O R space four Y O U R space your E M A I L space email. Okay, if I'm happy with what I have typed and I'm ready to send, I can hold down Alt and press S. Now bear in mind, I, I used Control when I replied, so I did a Control and R to reply. Send is a bit different, it's an Alt and an S. So let me hold down Alt and I'll press S to send. Message list. Luke Scriven final test. And I've been taken back to my inbox. Luke Scriven email, final. The email has been sent. So that worked very well and it wasn't too hard. Now, sometimes we might want to send a new email and not reply to an email. We just want to send a new email and we can do that very easily as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a control N from my inbox to open up a new email. N. Addressing to edit. And it's put me in the to field. And this is where I can type out the email address of the person I want to send an email to. Now I'm going to go ahead and type out Corey's email address, which is cballardvision-forward.org. Because I've sent an email to him before, I should be able to use autofill, whereby I would start to type his email. The computer would tell me that um, it already knows his email address because I've sent an email to him before. And that way I could have the rest of his email address filled in by the computer and I wouldn't have to type it all. However, on my system, I found that uh, this doesn't work well with Narrator um, for some reason. So you may just have to type out the full email address. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. C. CB1 of 1. A. L. L A R D at symbol spallard V U I S I O N hyphen vision O R W A R D period forward R G. Okay, I've typed out Corey's email address. Now I'm ready to move to the subject of this email. I'm going to use my tab key three times in order to get to the subject field, or maybe four. Let's see how many it is. So I'm going to press it once. End of line. End of line. 
Okay, the first time I pressed it, it's just uh, moved me to uh, the end of the to field. I'm going to press it again. Choose contacts button. There's a choose contacts button. I don't want that. I'm going to keep on going. CCBCC button. Here's another button that I'm not interested in. I'm going to keep on going one more time. Subject. Edit. Now I'm in the subject field and we heard it say edit so we know that we can type text in here. I'm going to type in the subject of this email which is going to be hi Corey. Cap H I space C hi O R Y space misspelled Corey. Okay, it told me I misspelled it because I didn't capitalize his name. Naughty me. Let's move now to the message body where we're going to type out the rest of our message. I'm going to hit the tab key one more time. Message editing. Good, and now we heard again it was editing, so we're in an edit field where we can type text. Let's type out, um, hope you are well today. Cap H O P E space hope Y O U space U A R E space R W E L L space well T O D A Y space today. Good, and if I'm happy with that, I can send my email in exactly the same way as we did before by holding down Alt and pressing S. S. Yes. Message list. Loop. So now you know how to read and how to send emails. I hope this has been useful. Windows 10 Narrator and the Windows 10 Mail app really do make it easy for people with a visual impairment to uh, read and send emails. And if you have a Windows 10 computer, I highly recommend that you give this a try yourself. Now, of course, if you need uh, help or if you have questions about technology, you can get in touch with us. You can call 414-615-0103. Uh, you can also email in focus at vision forward.org or you can visit our website vision forward.org. I hope this video was useful and we will see you in the next video.